What, what what do I look like again, bro? Well, sweet and sour chickens. <laughs> Man, say what's up to everybody, dude. Let's get it. You can't see me because I'm dark as well. It's your boy Breezy. A so SoundCloud plug, real quick. Uh, it's Breezy. You know, you gonna see two E N sins at the front and the end of it. It's your boy Breezy. Got one song, it's at 20k right now. Follow you, boy. That's good, man. That's 20k. Hey guys, what's up? It's Sydney, and the camera angle looks pretty different. That's because my lens was thrown into a lake. But this is gonna be a video about young love. Um, <laughs> okay, maybe it wasn't a good idea to be on FaceTime, but I'm still gonna do it anyway because that's my bro. What's again? Shout out to Breon. He got the uh, inspirational words. Oh, yeah. But uh, to restart everything, yeah, I got in a relationship uh, the beginning of my fir my freshman year in college. Uh, it was like two months right in after I started college. And I'll be honest, you know, when you first get in a relationship, everything is great, everything is good, and you want to spend the rest of your life with this person. I'm pretty sure that's what everybody goes through in a relationship. Now, to the ones that are watching this, you guys are wondering, Whoa, Sydney got in a relationship? What? Yeah, I thought the same thing too. And I myself, it's weird, huh? But, I guess I, I got too deep into it, and I wasn't really focusing on myself, which was pretty bad. Considering that I didn't focus on myself, it took a lot uh, out of me, especially during school. Uh, towards my second semester of college, I didn't do so well, and it sucks to say that, but it was because I, I, you know, devoted most of my time to a relationship, which, like I said, wasn't a good idea, because I know my strengths and I know my willpower to do stuff in school, and it was actually a pretty bad timing to do that, especially during school, because your first year in college is probably one of your most important years because you know you're trying to find out who you are and just trying to achieve certain goals and I feel like getting into a relationship at such an early age especially when you're first starting off to college it can really it, it can drastically affect the way you perform in school like you know academically and I, I try to look past that you know I was just thinking okay maybe this is just a regular old relationship and of course, that's what she wanted to as well. And the fact, the, the reason I'm making a video about this is, I, I needed some for myself at least. I needed some, you know, clarification for myself. I'm just making this video because it's more of me just trying to get clarification. That's it. Back on the topic. Uh, back on the. <laughs> but back on the topic. I was in a relationship, obviously, and we obviously we just didn't see eye to eye and we ended up breaking up. Um, and of course, considering where I was at, I just finished my first year in college, and my goal at least was to you know, spend the summer with this person. But obviously we both had different plans, and when we, when we you know, split apart, it was really pivotal in my life. It was, I wouldn't consider it such a big deal, obviously. Um, but it, it definitely was something that affected me, and it changed the way I looked at certain things, which is good and bad. And of course, I dwell about it, which is pretty bad. I shouldn't, I, you know, people, breakups happen every day. People can move on. It's just a matter of you actually doing that. This is my first real relationship that I had. Um, you know, excluding the ones that I had back in middle school. That's just fucking middle school. Freaking in high school, I didn't even have any relationships at all. Um... And what I said earlier about asking you guys for advice, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, per se advice. I would just say your experiences at least and how you dealt with those. Um, for me, how I've been dealing with this is going out a lot with other friends, and that really, <laughs> that really takes away from what I, you know, what I do at home. And being at home and being isolated in a room isn't really good for the mind because it can really take a toll on what you think and for me I overthink a lot of stuff and that's one of the reasons why we weren't really seeing eye to eye on certain things to all my new viewers out there the ones that subscribe from the camp video uh, yeah this is this is not this is a, a video that's you know I barely make personal videos like this usually I make other 
funny and uplifting stuff. This is just a quick little, not even the quick, it's just something to talk about with you guys. Translation. It's sad nigga hours. Yeah, it's sad boy hours. So, um, it's been over like a month, uh, a, a little bit over a month since the breakup. It, it wasn't even that long. Like, we didn't even date that long. I would say nine months give or take and I must admit I, I made the mistake of going to other people for advice which is not the right thing to do and no matter how many times I would go to certain people for advice they always give me the same answers and I would still ignore them which would only lead to my I guess quote-unquote agony it's not even that serious honestly the take-home message from this I would say we're all young and it's hard to accept that Especially when you thought that that person was the one. I know it sounds really corny and cheesy, but we're all young. We all we're all trying to find ourselves, and at the end of the day, it's not all about commitment. And I think that's where things kind of got out of hand because I wanted one thing in a relationship, and she wanted another. And going into this, it was it, it wasn't really noticed if that makes sense uh, I, I didn't really take into account of <clears throat> voice crack sorry I didn't really take into account of what she wanted which was pretty bad and selfish but at the end of the day like I said you know you have to respect someone's wishes and I've been trying to do that for the most part but yeah um regardless of any relationship uh, young or old I I feel like you shouldn't I've learned a lot from obviously from this to the other to the other person. I'll just be honest. I'm sorry for what I put you through. I guess it's it's honestly time for me to, you know, act my age and experience life like I used to. And I, I've been having like the time of my life recently. I mean, I've been to many concerts. Um, I went to this camp recently, as you guys have seen on my channel. Uh, going out with friends and just having an overall good time. It's something that can really take a toll on someone's life and it makes it really makes everything positive um, so it's okay to be social I'm not saying don't be antisocial there's nothing wrong with that um, sooner or later time will come and you'll be able to find that person and that your your significant other and things things will fall into play naturally um, and another another tip is don't force anything that isn't supposed to happen. Um, I learned that the hard way because I felt as if if I force something and the outcome or the reaction that I got isn't what I wanted, I would only feel bad in the end. So it's whatever. Oh, I dropped my jewel. Nicotine Addicts 2019, which is another bad advice. Don't do jewel. I don't even know why I got this thing. But back on the topic, yeah. As my friend said, and as many people will say, if you ask about relationship advice, we're all young. And like I said, it's hard to accept that. But we're all getting older as well, and we're not getting any younger. So at one point, you have to realize that we're getting older at an age such as mine. Commitment isn't really something you need, unless you are already in a relationship and you guys are great. Fantastic, that's good. Um, wish you guys the best of luck. But for the most part, um, if you find yourself in a relationship at a young age and it doesn't work out, the honest the honest truth is don't get butthurt about it. Like me, I got really butthurt about it because I felt as if that I did something wrong or... But for the most part, it was just something that she wanted. And maybe I'm the biggest clown of 2019. As long as I'm living my life, I'm a king, right? Dude, my, you need moral support from your friends, man. That's the only way that you can get through things. But I doubt that she's dwelling over this, such as I am. If you guys are young and you got into a serious breakup, it's not it's not the end of the world. I guess this is a really great time for me to just sit back, uh, think, and reflect on my past experiences and learn from that. And that's that's pretty much common sense right there. A relationship will definitely change a person depending on who you are. For the most part, like I said, that I, I've, I've stated this many times throughout this video, we're all young, commitment isn't something that we all need right now. We're trying to explore things, we wanna go and travel, and just be a better person that you than you already are, you know? Everyone wants to be great. 
But most importantly, make that bread. Because without money, you ain't shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm joking. Yeah. Um, from this point on, I'm just gonna be a happy little boy. Of course, we all have our sad times, and it hits you the most when it's one o'clock at night, when you're in your room, laying down, staring at the ceiling, listening to them some sad songs. But it's okay. Get the real ones cried out. I'm joking. To the person watching this video, I honestly wish nothing but the best for you. You probably hate that I'm making a video about this because things are meant, some things are meant to be private. It's no shame in putting your business out there for the double others. That's true. And for the most part, this is my experience too. Yeah. And Tell your story, bro. this is my story about what happened and I'm not calling anybody wrong by, at all by any means. But I mean, yeah, I'm sad. We're all gonna be sad at one point in our lives about certain things. It's up to us to look past that and realize that we have our whole lives ahead of us. And as for the person watching this, yeah, it took me a while to realize that because I'm already at an age where I can support myself and I can take care of myself. This has been a pretty lengthy video. I do apologize for my talking and nonsense, but I just want to say thank you guys for supporting me through all this and thank you to all that helped me out. I appreciate every one of you and thanks for subscribing. Probably gonna make another video soon uh, once I reach eight, uh, 700, so that's gonna be fantastic. Uh, Subscribe. Subscribe for real. I'm trying to get to 700 and if I get to 700 I can possibly do a Minecraft video because everyone's doing it So I might as well just hop back on the train Just like my old crytek effects days but once again, thank you guys for watching if there's any tips or uh, Comments you'd like to share always just it's always down there in, in the bottom in the bottom, but yeah once hey. again, for the la- uh. Don't forget, man. Share this video to your friends, your friends' friends, your friends' friends' grandma, your grandma's friends' grandma, dog, pet, cat, fish, goldfish that can't even read, but you know, like, so for share it, bro. Subscribe. Like, comment, you know, do all that YouTube stuff. This dude needs five bajillion subscribers before the year is over with. <laughs> I see you on YouTube Rewind, man. Heck no, they didn't even put PewDiePie in there, bro. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys again. This has been That Guy Sydney, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.